now we will continue with the investigation of Sudha Goen's case. Thank you, my lord. Your honor, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, the evidence will show that Sudha Goen was the victim of brutal dowry, relating violence. The prosecution will present testimony and evidence that her husband, Lakshman Goyal and her mother-in-law Shakuntala Goyal were both complicit in her tragic death. Witnesses will testify that Sudha was subjected to severe harassment and abuse of Lakshman Goyal and Shakuntala Goyal are they both? Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the jury was permitted and they both played a direct role in her murder. Objection, my lord. What evidence you have, Miss Akshita? Objection over you. You may please continue. Thank you, my lord. Miss Deesha, please calm down. My lord, now I would like to call our first witness, Meena Sharma, Sudha Goyal's neighbor. Permission granted. Meena Sharma, Hazar Go. So. Whatever I speak, I speak, I speak truth. I will say nothing except truth. So, Meena Sharma, can you tell the court what you have observed in those days leading up to Sudha Goya's death? Yes, I heard the screaming and painful voice of Sudha. Did you witness any incident on that night when Sudha burned? Yes, I observed that some smoke is coming from that house and I heard the voice of Sudha. She was shouting, someone help me, someone help me, please save me, please save me. Ms. Deesha, if you want to ask any questions to my witness, you may proceed. Thank you, my lord. Miss Meena, can you tell the court, how can you guess that screaming or painful voice of Sudha? Objection, my lord. Defense lawyer is trying to manipulate my witness. Objection overruled. Ms. Deesha, please continue. Thank you, my lord. So, Meena Sharma, can you tell the court, how can you guess that screaming or painful voice of Sudha? The voice is calling of Sudha Goyal because I met her twice in these days and I know her voice very well. Point to be noted, my lord, my public prosecutor and her witness didn't have any clear evidence. And Ms. Akshita, if you have another witness, so you may proceed. Of course. My lord, can you grant me the permission? So the Goyal's house may permission granted. Sumita Yada Mate Ho. Whatever I speak, whatever I speak, I speak truth. I say nothing except truth. So, Sunita Yada, can you tell the court what you have observed on that night? Yes, I had smelled something burning from kitchen and had seen that Lakshman sir, he was holding a bottle of kerosene in his hand and her mother-in-law, she was holding her hand at the back and Shuddha was crying a lot and her mother-in-law, Shakuntala ma'am, she was saying that she was a burden on her family. Okay, so finally you want to say that her husband and her mother-in-law both killed her with kerosene? Yes. Point to be noted, my lord. My eyewitness clearly defines the whole horrible incident which was held on 28 October. And those two innocent faces were a criminal. No, no, murder. Objection, my lord. My public prosecutor have forward their limitation. Without any judgment, how can she say my client, my girl, a criminal? Order, order. Mr. please be in your limits. Sorry, my lord. Mr. Sunita Yadav, my lord, now I would like to call my next witness, Mr. Raj Chinde. Raj Chinde, Hazir Ho. My lord, my lord, my client, Mr. Lakshman and Mr. Shantunta Goyal who are not in the town on 28 October. Objection, my lord. I am having a clear evidence that a, that a client, Lakshman Goyal and Shantunta Goyal were both in the town on 28 October. For this, I invite the Raj Chinde with CCTV footage of Shalima Society. Permission granted. Whatever I will speak, I will speak truth. I will, not, I will not say anything except truth. Mr. Raj, you will proceed. I am the secretary of the society where the Goyal family reside. 
I have seen the whole ordeal before unfold before my eyes. It is started when the Sudha Goel came into the family as a newly wed bride. That's when the fight began. Her mother and her husband they they burned Sudha alive. Yes, you heard that right. They set her on fire. I have CCTV footage and images which shows Sudha was burned, which I have already handed over to my lawyer. You can see Sudha burning and running for her life. Her clothes are on fire, and she was screaming. And uh, their family said it was just an accident. Objection, my lord. My lord, I think his photos and videos were edited because my client, Mr. Shapanthila, and Mr. Lakshmana, and Mr. Lakshman were not in the town on that day. Miss Diksha, if you have any evidence, just clear it. Not having any evidence yet. But, my lord, please give me some more time to show that my clients were innocent. No, no, Miss Diksha. You are not happy. We are already delayed from the two hearings. According to section 304B, whoever commits dowry that shall be punished with imprisonment for life. And according to section 302, Indian Penal Code, the accused is hereby sentenced to lifetime imprisonment. This court hopes that this judgment will serve as a deterrent to the to others and provide closure to the family of victim. The court is adjourned. Peace in, show, in society.